everyone, I'm Victoria. And I'm Rich. And we just happened to be at Lazy Days in Longmont walking down the line and we saw this rig and it's like, ooh, that looks interesting. Let's check it out. Today we're going ultra high end. We're looking at a mobile suite 41 RKDB, which is a mouthful. So let's see what that means. Could we have any more letters? I mean, geez. Okay, so you know when you go like home shopping to new home developments and you keep going and walking through the homes and then you get to one and you're like, oh, I found the most expensive one. That's where we are right now. When I walked in here, I was just, just taken aback by A, how beautiful it is. And then all the little touches just popped out at me from the, the gold hem handles on the cabinets to just how the white works so well with the gray. And this, this is top of the line stuff here. Speaking so. of top of the line, how tall do you think that roof is? I think it's too tall. If we, I mean, I like it. I, I'm not gonna. That's a that's a nine foot ceiling, ten or, foot maybe or more. I mean, I I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the spec sheet, but that's, that's a tall, amazingly tall ceiling. Okay, so I do like the tall ceiling, and I can't yet yeah, can't touch it. Very unusual in an RV. But again, we're gonna have giant person cabinets. It looks like. Are do these open? Yeah, there we go. Oh wait, these aren't really cabinets. What is that? A Sony? Oh, you have your wine guard antenna system, you have a Sony that could be. Okay, well, I can see that you could mount it, you know, modems and stuff. Yeah, so there. this yeah. area, because it's powered, is primarily gonna be your, your AV and your internet storage. That's very yeah. nice. And again, that's okay that that's that high from yep. the ceiling because you're not gonna get in there that often. No, and you're gonna use a ladder anyways. And then um, this is a huge TV with a sound bar, it looks like. Let's see what we have here. This is a cute little cabinet. Not sure what you would use it for but I like it. And I like that's where all the cords go. Yep, and again, powered, so you can put some, yeah. that could be your charge station. And so then, it's those small touches to detail with power in the, um, in all yeah. these cabinets. And then we have the, the fireplace is a little small. I'm totally okay with that. It's small in relative size to that gigantic That gigantic TV, TV. but I, I think it's fine. I have no, no problem with that. Okay, so I am perplexed. Where's my office going to go? I've got two chairs here. I've got a couch here, and I've got two more chairs here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I don't want it here, and I can't tell you why. And I'm pretty sure I don't want it there, and I can't tell you why. So I'm pretty sure I want it here. It's a little bit wider, and then I'll still leave us with, with lots of seating. So I think, and to me, and maybe I'm wrong, this looks like a longer slide than most that we've seen, but I'm not sure. And it does have the cabinets up here too, which will be good storage. So I think, yeah, that's definitely where my desk is going to go. And then when I'm thinking about where, where your desk is going to go, Rich, look at this. Isn't this so cool? We've got the table and then we've got drawers and a cabinet on either side in this little ledge. I think this would be perfect for you. For, so if for this your is going to be my work area, I love that underneath here are drawers on mm -hmm. each side and cabinets. Oh, and there's cabinets in here too. Yeah. And it, oh, that's a deep, that, there's a lot of storage in here. That one, not so much, but yeah, this is great. I like that. These are solid chairs. They are not flimsy. Yeah, once again, way. the build quality. And, and let's be clear, DRV is probably a brand that's out of our price range, but we saw this on the lot and we definitely wanted to check it out. This is, this, yeah, we gotta look. Now, I'm in the kitchen, which didn't take me much to get here, which is, it's not a raised rear kitchen. It's just a rear kitchen. So that means underneath me, there is no underneath me. There's no, there's no storage there. You're trading off the whatever these are, nine or 10 foot ceilings for the loss of storage underneath. And that probably will be a deal breaker, but we're having fun looking at this rig. So this is a little narrow for, it's really like a bar, but it could still be a good prep station. Love the, the stove, this'll work, that's fine. This is very interesting. You've got a wider, bigger square part on the left, and then you have a smaller square on the right, which I actually kind of like the concept of Yeah, it. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. And that faucet is really awesome. Yeah, this is super cool. And I love this huge window here. So, so far I'm loving the kitchen. Again, giant person cabinets. Yeah, and then but these cabinets over the sink are- These are giant people. They're eight yeah. feet up there. Yeah, so you're gonna need a ladder, stuff that you don't use very often. I do love this. Yeah, it's like a corner pantry. Yeah, and there's tons of room in here, even in the, the very top. Oh, what do we have here? What a do dishwasher. we have A dishwasher. I don't know if we need a dishwasher. I love this drawer though. So the Fisher-Peichel one drawer 
dishwasher, you can get a lot of stuff in that dishwasher, especially if there's yeah. only two of you, like in our case, there is. Oh, look how deep that is. You could put, I don't know, 17 Instant Pots in there. So that goes the entire depth of yeah. the refrigerator, which speaking is of refrigerator is very, very deep. A residential oh, refrigerator. That's funky. Okay, that, I could, yeah, this is wonderful. Now, it's the little things. This will not go any further because of the of the frame here. Is that with that right? You know, it's those little things that might drive you crazy over time. It's like I, I wanna I wanna, but I think I could get used to it. Again, not a deal breaker. I do love this fridge. Whoa, freezer. I don't see an ice maker in here, but maybe we can get one. Not bad. I do like it. We're making our way into the bathroom and bedroom but I have got to stop at this door. This is a solid, absolutely beautiful door. I, and this is what you see when you walk in. It, it's such a great first impression. And then in this cabinet here is your control panel, which is very convenient. I like where everything is located. Yeah, so definitely three air conditionings, AC units in this unit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm curious what this is and it's a little half bath, okay, which... Okay, let me go in there. Come on in. Oh, I was just going to go in there. But... It's nice and cool in here. So here, talk about this. And, whoa. Oh, oh surprise. I surprise. like this. This is a great place for the washer and dryer. I love it. It's not in the bedroom. Oh, interesting. Very nice sink. Full porcelain sink. Medicine yeah. cabinet. Oh, my goodness. Toilet, okay. Little space is a little tight in here, but I actually love that the washer and dryer. Okay, this is interesting. I love this dresser. It's a built-in dresser. Tons of storage in here. And those are the, yep, yeah, those are the soft, soft, uh, clothes. soft clothes. This is what? Oh, okay. So this is where you could put, if you wanted a TV and you put all your TV accoutrements there, that will be gone. King size, little tables on both sides, outlets, USB. USB? Do I see USB? No, no, I don't. So one nice, nice touch here is these, if the coach had power, these are light up little ah. LEDs into the, oh, so just nice over here too. Yeah. Lighting touches that you oh don't see. Oh my goodness. See. It would be great to see the, now yeah. we're, we have a half bath. Now we have a bath bath and it's, it's really pretty cool. I am not very familiar with um, RV toilets, but this doesn't look like an RV toilet. That so what am I looking at? Does here? not. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah it, it, down there it looks like an RV toilet, but this looks like a normal toilet. It like looks like the size of a residential. Resi toilet. Residential. Double sinks. I'm going to call this a medicine cabinet, double medicine cabinet. Lots of storage down here. More storage here. Oh, that's cool. Adjustable. They are adjustable. Is everything adjustable? No, but these are. Okay, I'm liking all this. This is an interesting step up to the closet. Oh, sorry. I don't just like that. Oh, and okay. This is a twist from what we've seen. Having the seat, the seat right in the, the middle. Or and the... these full textured yeah, these marble. Textured. It's not real, obviously, but... No, but I... This feels just a little bit wider. Just a little bit. This is actually designed to dress in. Because one, I mean, I'm about 5'8", and I'm just, just touching the ceiling. Just clear. But there's a mirror here. Why else would there be a mirror if yeah. you weren't, and, you know? And these four oh, great drawers. Yeah, these are wonderful. We've got the rack here for all the clothes. We've got a shelf. And then over here, if you want to take around, we've got another. This is a beautiful closet. Yeah, this is a great closet. And is this cedar? Yeah, so the two oh. things to point out in this oh. closet are the entire it's back wall of this is cedar. cedar. And something we've never seen in an RV is the inclusion of a safe right there. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. I have no idea what the price point of this is. It's probably out of our range, but if you wanted a high-end luxury rig, this Mobile Suites is definitely that. There you have it, a look at the creme de la creme of fifth wheel living. The Mobile Suites 41. I don't even know if I can remember all the RK, RK A B C D F G was something like that. R K B D, I think <laughs> what yeah, it was. Maybe you got um, that right. Yeah. Again, not a rig that's in contention for us, but we saw it and we wanted to take a quick glance through it and see. We'll look up and put a, a link down below on what the retail price of this unit is. 
um, I'm sure will be shocked. Yeah, I think it's going to be high. And we didn't even go outside and do a tour because I, I think there's some storage up front, um, but there's not a lot of outdoor storage. There's, there's, not, there's definitely not a lot of outdoor sp storage in this rig. But where you don't get outdoor storage, as you saw in our walkthrough, you get cabinets everywhere. I think one of the things they've done here is there's cabinets in every space there's cabinets possible. on top of cabinets. Yeah, there's no wasted space inside this rig whatsoever. It's cabinets. We didn't even, I'm, as I'm sitting here, that I, maybe we did touch on that. Look at that row of cabinets. Yeah, the above cabinets that. up above the. So, oh, wow. There you have it, guys. Thanks for taking this walkthrough with us. Be sure and like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to see some more cool rig views like this, be sure and hit that notification bell. Until next time, happy exploring.